Hey, they look cool. Oh, it's like an A. That's an A, right? You got like an R there. Uh, it's kind of like an R as well, yeah. Super nice. I'm Benjamin McMillan, and my graduation project is Full Auto Foundry. The two fascinations that I started with uh, at the beginning of this project was type design and automation. Um, more specifically, I was interested in kind of like auto completion. So like similar to that on a, on a phone when you just like type random letters and then the computer tries to figure out what that word would be and then it just kind of fills it in for you. I was interested in how that could work in combination with type design. Could you sketch something and then you kind of sketch again and then maybe something just kind of like forms naturally or by assistance of a machine. You just kind of like use these tools and then generate this typeface and then something strange comes out. Just the unknown of what the, the letter's gonna look like was super fascinating to me. It's a V, maybe, or a Y perhaps? Yeah, it could be a U as well. In the last few years, I've been running this type club in the department. Um, and the type club is just kind of this weekly workshop based um, kind of gathering of students and people who are interested in type design. Every week we do just like this kind of weird or strange workshop to generate kind of letters by, completely by hand. Um, so that was the major inspiration for me for this project because I really enjoyed running these workshops. So I just wanted to carry that on to the next step. I didn't want it that you can just ask a machine to design a typeface for you because this, for me, that wasn't so interesting or fun. Um, I wanted it to be that you could actually take part in it and then the machine would just help you along. There's kind of three steps to this project. There's the analog automization, which is done using the stencils because the shape already exists. You just have to move your pen and then the shape is produced. Uh, the second step is then taking those sketches that you've done and feeding it into the machine. This machine then digitizes all the letters and produces a typeface, and then it will send it automatically to the website of the foundry. There's a download button for every typeface that's generated in the workshop, and you can just hit that, that button, and then you have the typeface on your computer. If you're a, pro, like a professional type designer, you could use it as like a prototyping tool, kind of like rapidly kind of churn out a quick sketch that you had and then just see how it works just in like, you know, an hour or so. And typically it could take, you know, days, years, whatever, to make a type, typeface. There's still a lot more I want to do in the future because it's a project that I don't intend to stop now. I want to carry it on into the future because I want to hold more workshops around, like, yeah, around the country, I guess, or like around anywhere. Um, and there's still a lot of things that I would like to improve, but at the moment, uh, in the time that I've had to work on this, I'm super, super pleased with it. Yeah.